Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Doros, Virgo and Capricorn. So let's take a look at the energies of the person on your mind. Overall, energy for the connection, the tower. So the situation between the two of you went south. Chances are because of the fact that your person couldn't handle themselves if we think about third party situations. A vow of trust was compromised between the two of you. Maybe out of the blue, considering the Divine Bolt in the Tower Major Arcana. The problem is that the person that you are dealing with can be someone that cannot resist temptations and they may have a tendency to keep secrets from you. We can also say, guys, that your person can be someone that comes and goes whenever they want to do that. And this is not exactly in their favor. So how they feel about you. King of Wands, Six of Pentacles, the Moon and the Eight of Cups. Extremely passionate about you. They like you. They want you. They love every moment they can share with you. But we have a problem. The problem comes from the Six of Pentacles. One man up, one man down dynamic. This person, unable to display respect, fairness, an equal give and take in your favor. The moon is an energy about shenanigans, lies, secrets, something that is different from how it seems. The moon also plays a role in the Eight of Cups. This person can be someone that, if we follow the saying, can always go for greener grasses, but then they can realize that it wasn't the case, so they can come back, but they are unsure, so they go away one more time in order to come back once again. You get the point. Unreliable individual, this one. They love the connection with you when it comes to the sexual benefits that can come with it. Let me see, guys, the moon. Five of Swords, ego-driven energy. Someone that wants to win. Someone that wants to have the last word only for the pleasure to do so, when in reality it doesn't really matter. The bearer of the Three of Swords energy. Guys, some of you can be already over this connection. You have to remember that when this person reaches out. Five of Pentacles. Out in the cold. They can feel in this way, but... The energy can also be the one that this person has constantly brought forward in your connection. Shaky foundations, the Five of Pentacles, no real chance to build in a stable way. That's why the tower falls apart. Kinda every time. This is a broken record. This person works in this way. So be careful when they come back, you know? What can you expect from them? Seven of Cups Strength Card, the Sun and the Ace of Swords. You can expect to hear from them. You can expect communication. Communication aimed at the opportunity to clear the air with you. Sun, Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups. But this person brings forward a ton of question marks, if not red flags, because of their mindset. Guys, this person can find a way to constantly make you feel uncomfortable because deep within, you may struggle to trust them. We also got the Five of Wands in the advice position for you. Competition, gossip, rumors, turmoil. And this strength card can be the desire of this person to overcome the challenge represented by the no contact situation between the two of you or represented by the fact that the connection has gone cold and so they want to bring it back to life. They can say that you are still the dream, the sun, but in this case, I want to highlight the fact that this person can be someone that can have a big ego, five swords and the sun energy about the self. So they want to do what's best for them, regardless of the fact that someone else can get hurt in the process. And some of you experienced that firsthand. Remember that. 
Ace of Swords. Let's see. Page of Swords, looking around, gathering knowledge. While this person can try to gather information about you, I am thinking about social medias mainly. They want to figure out what can be your response. Devil, not the best energy, guys. Intoxicated by the sexual side of your connection, they want you. They want you because they want to have sex with you. Two of swords. They will not say everything, guys. They will still keep secrets from you. Sorry to say that. The Ace of Swords is an energy about truth and clarity, yes, but the posture of the lady in the Two of Swords is closed off, like the ex posture. The devil can be a toxic cycle. This can be a negative individual in your life, a catalyst for problems, and the moon that we see in the background plays a role. The unknown lies, shenanigans, nonsense, BS. This person is addicted to their own BS. So they may not be deserving of your trust. And their ego can be huge, you know? So what's the advice for you from the Tarot? Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Pentacles, Five of Wands, The Magician. Unfinished business, Wheel of Fortune. This person is coming around again. And they have already done that multiple times. Queen of Pentacles, they can count on the fact that you have always been reasonable and agreeable, almost like you have always chosen to give them the benefit of the doubt. Be careful with that. Five of Wands, turmoil. This person brings turmoil in your life. And if that's the case, it means that they do not have a positive influence. So before you take action, the magician, take a step back in order to get a bigger picture, a broader perspective about what the connection truly is. And remember the tower, because it means that something crucial is missing at the core of the interaction. Guys, let me see the Five of Wands, because this can be about inner conflict, but it can also be about gossip and rumors. And so this is not positive, especially considering how this person can behave when it comes to romantic interactions. Uh, they want to mess around. Sorry to say that, but these energies describe a scenario like that. Page of Wands, fun. Fun and games. Let's flirt. Let's have some fun. Seven of Pentacles. Strength card, the recurrent energy. Guys, some of you can hold back because the situation has been put on the back burner for a while. You have to make a decision, a final decision about it. The Seven of Pentacles is a productive waiting because the man has put a lot of effort in favor of a situation and he knows that it's just a matter of time before he can reap the benefits and the fruits of the previous labor. A connection with this person cannot pay dividends in the long run. It is only a source of troubles, shenanigans, misunderstandings and problems. They will try to reignite a spark of curiosity in you guys. You have to trust your gut. We know that it is unfair to take advantage of someone that can manifest Queen of Pentacles energy. This person has already done that, maybe multiple times. They want to overcome the challenge, but some of you have to remember the true colors of this person. You have already seen them. You have already seen them. That's why you can decide to hold back. And this can be the clarity that you need in order to make your final decision a final decision that can basically allow you guys to break free from an overall situation full of words, confusion, turmoil, gossip, and so forth. And also 
a decision that can allow you to put a closing point on an unfinished business type of cycle. You know? This can be a lucky break, guys, for you. Chapter closed, Wheel of Fortune. It can be for the better. Some of you will have to be brave, courageous. Trust your heart, you are not going to be wrong. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow, so thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.